what's up guys so uh, continuing on with my series on excuse me <coughs> continuing on with my series on stab wood mods previous video i showed you my entire collection of stab wood mods very long video 30 but 45 minutes i guess in total because there's a lot to show so obviously i've i have been buying a lot of this stab wood mods and uh also i said in my previous video is when I first got started trying to buy a Stabwood mod, I was completely lost. I made a lot of mistakes. I had no freaking idea what I was doing. Uh, and now I want to help you, right? Because if you want to buy a Stabwood mod, or maybe in the future you think that you might want to buy a Stabwood mod, you're saving up some money. What I'm about to teach you in this video is going to help you a lot. It's going to help you a lot and set you on the right path, okay? What to expect. All right, so... Today's video, I'm going to talk about how to buy a Stabwood mod. <laughs> now, just to clarify, when I say a Stabwood mod, I'm not talking about like an Esmodus Minikin Kodama Stabwood, right? I'm not talking about existing mods with a Stabwood sleeve or special edition i'm talking about mods that were designed designed from scratch from the start as a stab wood stabilized wood mod and um the same process also goes for buying a non-stab wood mod as long as it's a high-end mod and also for high-end atomizers high-end tanks lots of those stuff okay uh but since i talked about stab wood mods so yeah i'm going to talk about how to buy a stab wood mod now the thing is i'll tell you right away this is where you can tune off if you don't have a Facebook account, it's going to be very difficult, almost impossible for you to get your dr your dream uh, stair boot mod. That is the reality, guys. It's not something I'm making up. That's the way it is. So if you don't have a Facebook ac account, why? Why don't you have a Facebook account, man? Even my even my grandma has... No, my grandma, she died last year. Yeah. Even my dad has a Facebook account. I don't know what he does on his Facebook account, but he has a Facebook account. So why don't you have a Facebook account? I know some of you don't, or you're just not active enough in Facebook. It's going to be very difficult for you to, to find one, okay? Uh, because most of these stabled mods, they are sold through Facebook, uh, Facebook groups, or they have list announcements going on in their Facebook, either the modder himself, etc. So even if they do sell on their website, it's going to be out of stock, etc. And you really have to be on Facebook, right? If you don't have Facebook, you hate Facebook, you don't believe in Facebook, whatever, it's going to be difficult, all right? Now, the reason is uh, a lot of these stabwood modders, mod makers, they don't make them in bulk, okay? It's not like they make a 1,000 stabwood mods and upload them to their website, okay? In fact, website buying purchase online stores is the least in this list it's because they maybe make a handful of units and they want to sell the uh, stab wood mods so it doesn't make sense actually to take pictures of it uh, create an online store and you know upload the pictures write the description put the pricing etc just to sell one mod because the second mod is going to be different and they have to take pictures all over again right and the measurements are also going to be different so i guess facebook is an easy way for them to sell off their mods right they just take the, uh, a couple of pictures maybe even three pictures of the mod put it up on their facebook group and it sells all right so the first way the most popular way of getting a stab wood mod or the most popular way stab wood mods are sold is through close slash secret facebook group the majority of stab wood mods, high-end mods, high-end atomizers, RDAs, etc. Uh, you're going to get through this uh, method. Close and secret Facebook groups, right? So, the more popular these groups are, the harder it's going to be to get in them. When a, a modder starts uh, a new group, it's usually open. Open and then when he has like maybe 500 members, 600 members, it starts to get either secret or close, right? So the difference between secret and close, a close Facebook group is basically a group that you can find through the Facebook search. Or when someone gives you a link, you click on it, it appears uh, and then you can join. But until you're approved, you cannot read any single post. You cannot see anything that's happening in that group. That is the close 
uh, Facebook group. So you will have to click join and then they would approve you as a as a group member. And then you'll be able to see what's actually in the group. Now, not all groups actually approve you. That's 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 the thing about uh, Stabwood mods or high-end mods. Most of them do. Most of them do approve you pretty fast. But some of them have a series of questions that you need to answer just to avoid, you know, spammers and stuff like that. Fake accounts, you know, from, from trying to join the group. So to keep the group members real, they have a series of maybe three questions for you to answer and stuff. And, and you apply and then you join the uh, Facebook group. For some other groups, more popular Stabwood mods, they go by the vouch system, all right? So they are closed and you can try to apply, join to apply, but you never get approved unless someone in the group vouches for you. Vouchers basically says, you know, the person saying that, hey, I know this guy, he's a decent person or he's not a scammer, etc. I vouch for him. And some of the groups they require three vouchers, two vouchers, whatever. And as long as someone vouches you into the group, then they allow you to go in, okay? And that is usually for the, the really popular, top of the line kind of a Stabwood mod or high-end mod group. So you don't have to worry about that so much. Most of the Stabwood mods, then close groups, you click apply to join, uh, join to ap uh, apply, to you click join, and they would approve you as a member uh, within a short period of time. And then once you're in the group, you know, obviously you want to know some questions. Now this is where it gets tricky because some groups have what they call a pin post. And in that pin post, they explain everything you need to know. How, how much their mods cost and um, what is the typical configuration of their mod, what kind of chip they use, board they use, etc. How much shipping costs. Some groups have them, some groups have nothing like that. And, you know, so if you get into a group that doesn't have all the information, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you. You have to browse through the earlier posts and see the different type of uh, uh, mods that they are selling. Just get an idea of the group itself, right? Joining a group and trying to buy right away is a, it's a bad, bad idea. You just need to join, stalk some people, and just linger around for a while, and just figure out what's happening in the group. Now, a secret group is a group that you cannot find through Facebook search at all. Even if you search Facebook group, uh, you, you will not find the group. And if someone gave you a link to the group, when you click on it, Facebook will just say, sorry, the content doesn't exist, something like that. So, uh, a secret group, no one can join the group and existing members cannot add in any more members. So maybe they can, I don't know. But anyway, no one outside the group can click to join the group. Right, so a lot of these uh, Stabwood mods, Stabilized Wood mods, they go from close to, uh, from from close to secret uh, every now and then. So close, you can apply to join, but when it's secret, the group, it's, it's almost as if the group does not exist anymore on Facebook. And they do this when they are selling stuff, okay? Or for whatever reason, they decide to limit the amount of members for a while. Uh, you know, maybe they've hit their maximum limit in production that they can take and they just don't want any more members, so they change it to uh, secret. So, if you are looking for a group and you cannot find it, you search and search and search for the group you cannot find it it's most probably in secret mode and that means that they're probably doing something in the group right now usually they are selling the mods or they're having a some other uh a raffle or something like going on where they only want existing members to participate they don't want new members joining in at that time to participate the logic behind this is very hard to understand for me you know for me, it's like a customer is a customer, right? But, you know, it's, it's the mentality of uh, the modders. They want to give a chance to existing members to buy something like that. Or they don't want to get scammed by people just joining at that time only to try to buy a mod and then leave the group. I, I, I don't know, but that's the way it is. All right. So now once once you're in the group then there are a few ways for you to actually get a mod, right? Again, as, as I said, don't join the group and get a mod right away. You know, you might not be getting what you expected or you may get something that you didn't expect. You need to spend some time to take a look at the pictures, you know, try to figure out what's going on, see the different options available. If it's a pinned post, read the pinned post. Or sometimes there's a post that uh, 
tells you to introduce yourself go ahead and introduce yourself and then you know when it comes to time to buy a mod so there are a few ways here uh the most the most straightforward is the direct contact so for the direct contact it's very easy you just got to re read the pin post and if the pin post says to order a mod just get in touch with this person or another admin because these groups usually they have a few admins and you can contact either one of them that is very straightforward in uh, the dpm group the stair boot to get a stair boot squonk mod for example all you need to do is just join the group and just contact the admin for a stair boot mod because stair boot mods are made on an ad hoc basis and the limelight gloom group as well to, to get the stair boot version of the limelight gloom you can just join the group contact the admin right away you don't have to wait uh, for the stair boot versions they have other versions as well so that is the easiest way and once you contact the uh, the group owner or the admin right it's usually sometimes it's usually uh, starts with selecting a wood block selecting a wood block and uh, once you select the wood block and then you'll usually pay a deposit of 50% upfront and then they will start to make the mod for you I do not recommend this method however if if you want to get your first mod I just don't recommend it there's so many things that can go wrong when you uh, order a stab wood mod like that from a wood block sometimes unexpectedly you, you you don't get what you want or sometimes it just gets delayed too long it's better to buy stairwood mods that are already done already done um every time there's an issue you know there, there are places on the on on facebook where you can go and read all these issues like fake hot it's always about a stairwood mods that you order from a wood block so it sometimes it just doesn't happen it takes too long there are other issues and then there's a conflict there refunds involved etc so try to look for a stab wood mod that's already com completed right now even if you do get stab wood mod from a, a wood block uh, it's going to take a long time it's going to take a long time you need some patience etc sometimes there are also lists regular lists by the models themselves so uh, this is more applicable when uh some orders do they do it this way so they open up a list they take 20 orders and then they work on the mod the 20 mods and when the mods are done shipped out etc and then they open up another 20 spots so you cannot just go and contact them right away ad hoc and get something done these are also good ways to do it and uh, the process is more or less the same except with the regular list is let's say a model opens up 20 spots to buy a stab wood mod you'll have to to be one of the first 20 to fill up a spot right fill up a spot and then usually what happens is he will have a wall full of different stab wood mods first come first serve basis and you get to select the mod so let's say there are 20 different mods uh 20 spots for the mods 20 different stab wood blocks the first person gets to choose and if you're the last person on the list then you get to choose nothing because there are only 20 uh spots available so there's also some risk that you may not get what you want the stab wood block design that you want uh but it's a you know once you fill up the spot it's like you're committing to buy and if you change your mind then you know they get pissed off with you or they may kick you out of the group some of these modders they're pretty communist up here you know what i mean they just uh for the slightest thing you do they want to kick you off the group so yeah i i don't like that kind of regular kind of list because uh, I either want to just choose my wood block or I go for something that's already completed I don't like to sign up 20 people at a time and just get the wood block that nobody else wants basically all right next you have your regular product drops and countdowns so that is uh, when uh, mods have been completed again it could be a mod it could be uh, RDAs or any other high-end stuff similar method how it works and uh, so let's say for a stab wood mod they have completed three different stab wood mods they'll put pictures up and and tell you that at this particular time date and time there will be a list to sign up for the mods right and they usually give you a countdown timer not everyone does this however i hate those groups where they just announce here are the mods available and the first person or the first you know first come first serve because i always miss out so usually some groups they will give you the countdown timer now the countdown timer is very important because of time zone so you have to keep track of the exact date and time and time zone 
put it on your iPhone, get an app for countdown app or something like that to give you a reminder uh, because otherwise you will most definitely miss it. And then on that time, on that uh, particular time is where the action happens. So what happens? Basically, you'll have a Google document and a list randomizer, Google document, right? So at that particular time, date and time, the model or an admin will put up a post saying, all right, so those who want to buy these three mods, fill up the Google form. Obviously, there are going to be more than three people. If it's a group of 1,000 people, you're going to get 50, 60 entries in the Google document. And the Google document is usually open for a limited time. In extreme cases, five minutes, three minutes. You know, usually it's half an hour, 15 minutes. Sometimes it's 24 hours. And um, you got to put in your name. Sometimes they also ask for shipping address, etc. But usually they don't ask you all the information right up front. They just ask you to put in your name. And they ask for your Facebook name or your real name, legal name, i.e. legal name, right? Uh, because it's not the same. My face, my legal name isn't really Gerald Paul Krishnan, right? It's just my Catholic name after I was con after converted. That is my Catholic name. It's not the name that appears in my birth certificate or my government uh, issued ID or license and stuff like that. So obviously, I'm using my Catholic name, uh, and so they ask you for a Facebook name and your real name, and then. After that period of time is done, they will randomize it. Randomize it, meaning they will copy the list of names, put it on a randomizer. It's usually at random.org. Then they will randomize it, and the first three people get to uh, own the three available mods. First come, first serve. So the first person gets to choose which one he wants, etc. Again, there's some element of uncertainty, even if you're the top three. Top three get to choose, but the, the first person obviously has got the best deal because he can choose anything. And if you are the, the third person in the list, you end up with the one that the two the two dudes did not want. Uh, so I don't quite like that as well. But that's how some of the the product drops are, right? Because they make limited mods, and so many people want to buy them, so they will randomize. And sometimes it's a the third. The third click or the third random result. So they will randomize the names once and randomize again and third time. And on the third randomized results, they will take the top X names. Could be 5, 3, 10. If it's an RDA release with 100 units, could be the first 100 names, right? Um, and then you would get a chance to buy. And then it goes through PayPal. So once, once you have won, won the randomizer, and then it goes through PayPal, so they will invoice you in PayPal or they will just give you the PayPal email address and ask you to send a 50% upfront or deposit or whatever it is, if it's a stable mod. Uh, but usually when the mod is already done, you just pay the full amount. And important to point out is that whatever price that they put on their Facebook page, usually 99% of the time does not include PayPal fees. So they will normally ask you to send the money through PayPal using the friends and family feature. This is a feature in PayPal where it's it's, it's meant to, for you to send money to friends and family, not for purchase. They're basically misusing this feature because the models do not want to bear the PayPal fees, right? Now, there is a big catch in this when you use the friends and family feature is that you do not get any protection or at least not much protection as a buyer if something goes wrong. So there are two ways in PayPal, friends and family, which means zero fees involved, uh, regardless uh, when, when you receive the money, PayPal doesn't charge you for any fee, but it's not meant, not supposed to be for purchase of goods. Then they have the goods and services, which is a regular way of buying stuff from uh, using PayPal, where the seller gets charged a PayPal fee. So these models, they do not want to bear the PayPal fee. Now, the problem is some people in some country, like me, for example, my PayPal does not have the friends and family feature due to government regulations. So if that's your case, then you can always ask the model to estimate how much PayPal fees and you'll have to pay the additional 4% or 5.5%. The fees are different based on the country. That's how PayPal works. So you'll have to send the purchase amount of the mod plus shipping plus the additional PayPal fees. 
but a good thing is when you pay for anything using the goods and services option in PayPal, you get a lot more security as a buyer. I'll talk about that in a different video. This is a whole different topic by itself, right? So that is the regular uh, randomizer and uh, product drop Google document kind of thing going on. You fill out the Google document and if there are more potential buyers and available units, then it gets randomized and the winners will get to pay for the mod or the RDA, whatever it is. Now, that's also another catch here. You have to be on a Facebook page to see if you want. Because if you want and they message you that you want, they'll usually give you a 30 minutes a day, not a day, maybe 30 minutes, two hours to make a payment. So if you just enter the Google document and then you're off sleep to, to do bed, or you're off you know, to work or something like that and you only check your Facebook eight hours later, you could be the winner and you could have missed the deadline to make the payment. And sometimes these groups, they just ban you. They just kick you out of the group and ban you and you'll never be able to join again. Like I said, pretty communist thinking, you know what I mean? But that's, that's how it is. So you got to keep track of the results just to make sure that... Uh, that you didn't end up as a winner and I mean that if you ended up as a winner that you actually realize it in time to make the payment within the deadline. Get what I mean? Alright, let's move on to the third way. What happens in those groups after you join? How to buy a, a stabilized wood mod or high-end mod or high-end atomizer or high-end accessories or whatever. Um, is the dreaded X1. X1 quick strikes, right? Uh, so there are many kinds of X1. What is an X1? Basically, it's just X and 1. So in a, the post, you got to comment X1. Some people ask you to comment X10, X11, B1, whatever it is, you know. But it's just usually a code to, to be sure that you want to participate in that particular sale, right? So X1 is, is what it's called. It's X1. And uh, X1s work like randomizers sometimes. So instead of a Google document, they will say, all right, these are the 100 units RDA available uh, and those who want to purchase X1. Again, they will tell you in advance, usually when the product drop is about to happen. So just wait uh, on your computer, on your mobile phone, you keep refreshing the page. And exactly at that time, uh, these models, they don't really use, they don't, they're not really on Facebook posting at that time, they usually schedule the post beforehand. So it always comes out exactly if it's 11 p.m. a.m. The post is usually out exactly 11 00 the post will be out. And if it's an X1 randomizer, then again, like the Google documents, very similar except you don't have to go to Google and fill up the document. You just put an X1 and then when the time has passed, the admin will close the comments and then they will randomize the results based on how many people X1. So the rest of it is the same invoicing and stuff like that. Now the special X1 quick strike. This is a first come first serve and the quick strikes usually have no notification whatsoever, usually. So the modder at any given time would upload a picture of the stable mods and say the first person to X1 gets a chance to buy this. I hit this method of selling i think it is the stupidest way of selling anything online ever maybe it's just me feeling pissed off because i will i'm never the first to x1 it's very difficult in a group of 2000 people one mod available do you think you'll be the first one to notice the post and actually you know put x1 in the comment I honestly don't know how some people do it. I mean, maybe it's just luck that they happen to be on the group at that particular time uh, and they actually managed to X1 and be the first to X1. But I can tell you, man, I am never the first uh, to X1 for anything. I am never the first to X1 for anything. Even sometimes when they tell you in advance, uh, there's going to be an X1 quick strike. I'm on the page, refreshing the page. Every 30 seconds, I'm refreshing, refreshing, refreshing the page. I see the post, but by the time I can scroll down, click on the comments and type in X1, 50 people have already put their X1s in. Huh. I, I never, actually I have got some stuff from X1, but the less popular stuff, 
the stuff that is popular is almost impossible to get through an X1 quick strike. And that's why I think it's the stupidest way possible to actually sell anything. But that's just me. For the modders, the, the modders they, they couldn't care less, right? Because they have a mod to sell. And as long as they sell it, they're happy, right? It doesn't matter if they sell it to you or anyone else. And I hate quick one, uh, quick uh, X1 quick strikes. I absolutely hate it. It's the worst way ever to sell any product. And if I find a group that the only way they sell anything is through X1 quick strikes, I exit the group right away. I say fuck you. I, I don't need this shit, you know, because there must be a better way for you to sell it. At least do a randomizer once in a while, right? So that's you have a chance to buy. It. And uh, all right. So the other ways of buying. Um, a stabwood mod or high-end mod through the Facebook group after you join is through raffles. So in a raffle, you pay a sum of money to earn a randomizer spot. So let's say the mod, let's say this stabwood mod right here costs uh, 700 US dollar, right? So a spot will be $10, for example, and there's 70 spots available. How this works is that you, they will give you the PayPal, uh, PayPal address and before you can qualify you need to make the payment first so you make a payment of ten dollars if you want one spot if you want ten uh, ten spots then you make the no no what did i say yeah so seven hundred dollar mod and let's say there's 70 spots yeah so it's ten dollars per spot right so if you want three spots to increase your chances you pay 30 bucks now it's a raffle Okay, it's it's like gambling. It's not really like gambling. It's like winning the lottery, right? So you're buying lottery tickets, and if you don't win, you just burn your your money. So if you buy ten spots, that's a hundred bucks. It gives you a high chance of getting the mod, but no guarantees. So once all the spots are filled up, filled up in a seven hundred dollar mod, um, ten dollar per spot, seventy spots. So once the spots are filled up. Again, everyone has to pay the modder uh, up front and then they do the randomizer. Again, it comes to a randomizer. So they do a randomizer and they choose the winner. So obviously in this way of doing it, uh, if you, you can get lucky, there is no harm trying your luck because there will be less people entering a raffle because you have to pay up front, you know. And so if you pay ten dollars for example and you're really lucky you get a seven hundred dollar mod that is a fucking good deal but obviously 90 percent of the time you're not going to win right so it, it really depends on your luck you know sometimes you could enter every single raffle out there and you would win nothing and someone would enter his first raffle and win a thousand dollar mod it's not as fair or unfair it's just a game of probability odds and stuff like that so that is a, a one way of um, entering the, the uh, or winning a mod and usually the amount of spots available matches the retail value of the mod or RRP of the mod. But there's also a charity raffle where there's unlimited spots. All right. So let's say I want to auction off this mod. I'm a modder and I want to sell off this mod. And it's usually retails for seven hundred dollars, all right. But it's a charity raffle, so it's going to be unlimited. You can enter, uh, you can take as many spots as you want, ten dollar per spot. Spot. Even if you want to buy a hundred spot, pay a thousand dollars. Some people would do it because it's for charity, and usually they mention what is the charitable purpose, it's either to help out a personal friend, for the model himself, or some other established charity, right? And uh, this method at least if you don't win you don't feel so bad because the money goes to charity right so there are raffles and charity raffles those are all the Facebook and Facebook selling stuff now we go out of Facebook uh, there are two ways two other ways you can buy a stab wood mod through an online store right this is the least popular method of selling a Stabwood mod. I've got two Stabwood mods from Axis Vapes that I showed you in my Stabwood mod collection that I bought from an online store. And they did it perfectly. They did it perfectly. They had a proper e-commerce system set up for something like this. So when you see a mod that you like, you add it to cart, it's removed from the store and nobody else can add the same mod to cart. There's a timer running. So once you add it to the cart, you have, let's say, 
10 minutes to purchase the mod and if you don't do anything then the mod is available again it's taken out of your cart automatically and put back on the site so someone else can add it to cart and once they have added it to cart you will not see the mod or you will see the mod but you'll not be able to add it to cart it's a custom made solution that I think works perfectly uh, for for unique items like stair boot mods however I don't think every single modder can afford to actually do something like that so they have to use off-the-shelf systems and the problem with off-the-shelf system is that it's not meant for unique items or one-off items and every step boot mod is different right so if uh, this mod for example the SMD Ghost Dragon by uh, SMD Source Design if the modder made 10 different mods with the exact same design it's still unique because it's different wood blocks right so what the modder would have to do is he would have to take 10 sets of pictures, 10 sets of pictures of the mods and create 10 different SKUs or, or products um, on his website and to sell the mods, to sell the mods. And there's always a conflict, right? There may be a double payment. A few people may add, 10 people may add the same mod to the cart and obviously only one person is going to get it. And sometimes because of the time the transactions go through, two people may end up paying for the same mod and the modder will need to refund one of those people. This is a messy part about selling Stabwood mods through a website. So, you know, I hope you understand that. So unless someone does a custom solution like AxisFapes.com did, it's very hard to sell unique stuff through a regular e-commerce system. AxisFapes did a good job at it, but now they are out of business anyway. And I haven't seen anyone with a similar system like that. So that's why websites are the least popular method. You may have seen some websites where they appear to be selling Stabwood mods, but they're usually out of stock. So the other way of doing it through the website is that they list uh, one picture. They put one picture of 10 different mods and they number the mods. And when you want to buy, you can select, right? But it still has the same issues that it may be double purchase and stuff like that. Uh, because a lot of those off-the-shelf online commerce stores, they just cannot cater to unique items. So that's why you see very few Stabwood mods being sold through websites. Alright, now the last but not least, the most risky me method of buying a Stabwood mod is to buy it from um, flippers. They are generally called flippers, but there are many different types of flippers. But basically, when you talk about a flipper, it's someone who is selling you his mod, his pre-used his pre mod. This is the most risky, and I do not recommend for you to buy uh, your first Stabwood mod. Simply because there's so many things on a Stabwood mod that you need to look out for. Um, and in order to not get scammed or you know to to not be disappointed with what happens for example you need to be able to tell the condition of the stabwood mod you, and you need to know what to ask for right so you need to ask for pictures a lot of these people selling their stabwood mods they take a very low resolution picture with their iphone or whatever you know just one picture and then they put it up there are many facebook groups that you can join uh, to buy stabwood mods from from someone else and if you know what you're doing, it's a good way to get a Stabwood mod because you usually get it at below the retail price, uh, below the price of a brand new mod. In very few instances, you will actually need to pay more than what the retail price was. So you get it cheaper and sometimes the mods are in excellent, excellent condition. This small, uh, snake, did I say snake dragon? Oh God. This ghost dragon mod, for example, the guy that I purchased this from was a real gentleman. He took really good care of this mod. This mod is in is in perfect condition when I received it. And obviously I paid less than the retail price of the mod. Now maybe he was an admin in the group. So maybe he got the mod for free. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me how much he paid for as long as you know I paid lower than what the retail price is. And um it's can, so it can be a very good way for you to buy really good mods. Uh, especially when you, when you, when the previous video I talked about Stabwood mods is that they're all unique. So sometimes when you, when you like a particular design, a particular, uh, tone, a particular style of wood, that is the mod that you need to get. Even if you join the group, 
you will not see the same wood block, the same colors of the wood anymore. That is the design that you like, so that is the model you need to get. However, for your first step wood mod, as I said, I do not recommend this way at all because it's easy to get scammed. It's so easy to get scammed. There are many ways people can scam you. In fact, why don't I do another video where I'll talk about uh, flipping scams, okay? How, how people usually scam you when you want to buy stuff, uh, high-end stuff, stable mods, etc. Those are the ways, those are the methods of getting a stable, stabilized wood mod. Everything I said here is just from my own experience. I'm not trying to knock anyone down or, you know, put anyone off. It's just from my own experience, right? Joining a lot of Facebook groups, you know, it can be frustrating. I've got kicked out of some Facebook groups as well because I put my name in there and uh, I didn't know that I, I won the randomizer. And because of the time zone, by the time the results were announced, I was really asleep. And I get up in the morning, I'm, I'm kicked out of the group. And uh, I know that I'm kicked out of the group because I can no longer find the group, right? I'm, I can no longer find the group. When I search for it, it doesn't exist anymore. So they banned me, basically. They, they banned me for, for the fucking reason of just not paying in time. They just don't give you enough time. You know what I mean? And uh, the problem for me is the time zone stuff. A lot of these randomizers happen at 12 midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., you know, so... I join and if the results are you know it takes too long usually I, go, I I just give up I just go to sleep once in a while I end up winning the top 20 or 30 spots and I'm expected to make a payment within 30 minutes or two hours or something that is just not going to happen so by morning I'm fucking banned from the group doesn't make a fucking difference to me some of these groups they are like freaking communists as I told you but the good news is there are many models out there. Some are reasonable, some are more reasonable than others. Some are friendly, some are not so friendly. As with any human interaction, some are assholes, some are great people. The good news is there are many choices out there for you to go and try to get a step with mod. But if you don't use Facebook, group, uh, Facebook you are shit out of luck. Because even the models that sell their mods on their websites, usually have a Facebook group where they announce when the new stocks will arrive, right? So if you go to the website, sold out, sold out, sold out, you have to wait for the announcement within the Facebook group to go to the website and make a purchase. So if you don't have a Facebook account, I'm sorry, my friend, you're most probably never ever going to get a stable mod unless you buy it from a friend or someone you know. Uh, so that's my guide for buying a stair boot mod or high-end mod or high-end FIP gear. It's the same method. It's the same shit. Now in the next video, uh, I want to talk about how to uh, maintain your stair boot mods, right? Before I talk about uh, high-end mod scams and stuff like that, uh, I want to talk about how to maintain your stair boot mods, how to really make them shine make them look good all right so see you in the next video okie dokie no more smoky <laughs>